Welcome to Devincept Learning. So our project topic is music recommendation system. So we'll explain that but before that we'll go on to the table of contents that is we have introduction now go on to the flow chart then ideas for recommendation or how we have implemented and then comes the implementation using python coming on to the introduction nowadays there are million of songs to choose from and it also becomes very hectic for a song listener to choose which song to listen or which song to ignore people sometimes feel difficult with this problem moreover song service providers need an efficient way to manage their songs and help their customers to discover music by giving a quality recommendation so in this project we have designed implemented and analyzed a music recommendation system we have used million song data set to find correlation between user and songs and to learn from the previous listening history of users to provide recommendation for songs which users would provide we have implemented various algorithms such as popularity based model content based filtering then content based artist name then we have gone on to the collaborative filtering and there are four types and also we have based on the text or keywords that user previously listened to so basically what is our project or what it is this project is basically a music recommender which is built using machine learning deep learning and system is implemented in jupyter notebook using python in this we design music recommender system which predicts songs and recommend them to the user why why we have chosen because too many choices can overwhelm user because and it makes the user confusing which song to listen and which one to ignore that's why the streaming services like spotify gana they have used such uh, uh, features so that they can make the user more comfortable with the song identify the right track of which to which the user will listen to and which one he won't this helps the project people to make wise decision and also make decisions in listening to music make work easy and saves time also it it based on different modalities like uh, like popularity it is like uh, a user feedback a text or audio or anything now going on to the flow chart our basically a music recommender uh, flow chart based on first we have collected the million song data set then we have gone on to the implement importing the libraries now to the splitting of data into training data set and testing data set then we have gone on to the popularity based recommender that is based on popularity it will recommend you the songs now go on to the collaborative filtering and then going on to the content based filtering so you can see the ideas for recommendation or the ways in which we have made this one first one is the popularity based recommender here the songs are sorted according to their popularity for each user recommend the songs in order of popularity except those already in the user's profile here we have a non personalized recommender like we have taken a uh, like we have taken the popularity into hand and that's why it is very easy to implement now going on to the personalized recommender here we have two types that is collaborative filtering and content based filtering collaborative filtering is like that it involves it involves defining a co occurrence matrix based on a song a user likes we are seeking to answer a question for each song what a number of time a user who have listened to that song who will also listen to another set of song for further this like based on we have a, a group of uh, text which is read by two users as you can see in this diagram and they two are very similar and as you can see this is read by her and this blog is read by her so similarly this blog will be recommended to this guy as we have a collaboration in between them so as you can see the points that is match people with similar interest as a basis for recommendation user based collaborative recommendation model is designed user who listen to the same song in the past tend to have similar interest and will probably listen to the same songs in the future now going on to the content based filtering that is there are uh, the, here we have the two files that is content based one and then content based artist name here recommendation done using content based recommenders which can be seen as a user specific classification problem 
this classifier learns the user likes and dislikes from the features of the song based on music description and user preference profile not based on choices of other with similar interest here majority of the songs do have few listeners so here it is difficult to collaborate so we have used the content based filtering now now we'll go on to the implementation part and also you can you can find all the data sets in this link and then we go on to the python files or the jupyter notebook files where we have implemented the code so here we have four or basically there are three that is popularity based recommendation here we have a jupyter notebook named popularity that contains the code and analysis for the recommendation engine a csv file named song data and text file named million song containing the data for the songs used in this system now we go on to the content based recommendation system where a jupyter notebook named content based and content based artins name that contains the code and analysis for the recommendation system here we have used a csv file named abc data for the content based and csv file named song data and text file named million song for content based artist names as the data of the songs and users are contained in this system now we go on to the collaborative recommendation system that is a jupyter notebook named collaborative that contains the code and analysis for the recommendation system a csv file named song data text file name million song contains the data now we'll go on to the first jupyter notebook that is popularity which includes the popularity based filtering so this is the first step that is importing the libraries for designing the popularity based recommendation system so these are the three files that is pip install sklearn recommender pip install sklearn evaluation and pip install black if you haven't installed it just remove the hash code and you can install it here during the runtime as we have installed it so i have made it as a comment and here you will import the recommender which is most important and now we'll run the code as you can see all library is imported now the second step is to collecting data sets that is we have used the million song data set and the song data and the song data sets now we will also merge that is song df1 and song df2 because we have to drop the duplicates from the song id because and also we will merge the both the data sets so as you can see the output that is we have merged the two data sets now coming on to the third one that is print song that is th the uh, we have to check the null values in the data sets you will see the output uh, as you can see there are there are maximum there are no uh, such uh, null values in the data sets now coming on to the splitting of the data splitting of the data is done uh, as you can see into the training data set and testing data set and then we come on to the popularity based filtering or popularity based recommender system model now here we have tried to describe our data as you can see that is listen count and year now we are now we have gone on to the popular song model uh, where we will where it will show the popular songs that that is our target variable here that we need to show the popularity based filtering so you can see here and then we go on to the top listeners that is uh, you can see the id of the top listeners as you have as you have taken the user id into count dot value counts now we have grouped it by the song id so that it will be easy in the in displaying the data now you can see here the final output that is the user id uh, the the listen count the title that is the title of the song the release way the artist name and year this is how the popularity based filtering works now we'll go on to the collaborative filtering here here also you need to install the three 
these three libraries or if you have installed you can as I have installed so I have just marked it as a comment so these are the recommenders used and then we have to see the similar items the get user songs it uh, it function returns all unique songs listened by a single user this function returns all unique listeners of the given song then def get unique songs this function results all unique songs in our training data and then for each data in our user history we find users who listen to the same song as listeners of users listed in songs and then we need to find a co-occurrence co matrix we'll make and for the for our visualization and all then we'll calculate the weighted average of the scores in the correlation matrix which will show the similarities between the two users of listening a single song and based on the similarity scores we'll create a new data frame that is user id song id score and rank now we'll help in recommendations so after now and this is that the build item occurrence of size that is using the alien songs and alien user songs now we'll collect the data sets and start merging both million song and song data that is the text file and the csv file then the next process is the splitting of data into the training data set and testing data set now we'll go on to the definition that is we'll see the users based on the user id now as you can see we have predicted our model and it gives us the collaborative that is the songs which is listened commonly between the, as you can see the output number of unique songs for the user is 19 number of unique songs in the training set is this much and number of values in the co-occurrence matrix that means this much lines are similar as you can see these are the similar songs which is recommended using the collaborative filtering this now coming on to the content based filtering here we have used a tfdif vectorizer which is used from the scikit-learn package which transform text to feature vectors that can be used as an input to the estimator that is it will help us in estimating the data from the text input now this is how we have done it and also there is the tfdi vectorizer that is analyzer equals to word stop words equals to english that is it will find out the english letter alphabet and it will help in this we have the you have used the fit transform to fit the matrix into that vectorizer function now we need to calculate the similarity of one lyrics to another we are going to use cosine similarity we have used here cosine similarity function to make the to compare the similarities between the lyrics of the two that is the content based filtering as we are finding similarities in between the content of the song or the song lyrics so you can see tfdf matrix dot shape that is it is going on to the 5000 rows and 23000 columns that is similarities dot shape is similar as it is as it is a cosine similarities dot shape that is we have made it 5000 to 5000 now this is the function we need to make that is we have to find the recommendations for the song rec number of songs to be recommended now number of songs most similar from the similarity matrix and print each form now these are the 15 songs as you can see these are the recommendation form that is content based recommendation in basis of that similarities we have made that is songs i log and we have taken the 15 songs so that's why the 15 recommended songs for speed kings are number one speed king by this and you can see the 15 songs now we will go on to the content based filtering here also we have used the tfdif vectorizer from the scikit-learn package which helps in transforms text to feature vectors that can be used as an input to the estimator and also we have used all these uh, given uh, libraries now we will now we'll collect the data sets and merge both million song and song data that is the text file and the csv file is that as you can see we have also uh, we have also swiped that is the title with the map and the artist name this gives us the this gives us the number of unique artist names and also the number uh, import pandas as pd and you can see we have imported the tfdif vectorizer so 
because of the data sets being so big we are going to resample only 5000 as you can see the data is a very very big so in this case we will just resample only 5000 random songs as you can as you can see here now that we need to calculate the similarity of one lyrics to another by using the same similar the cosine similarity so we want to calculate the cosine similarity of each item with each other in the data set so we need to just pass the tf idf matrix to the to each and every data now you can see here we we have the similar one be, uh, according to the last one we have the song to find recommendation for we have to find the number of songs to be recommended and you have the most similarities from the similarity matrix now based on the similarities we have made recommendations equals to content based recommender that is similarities now the song and number of songs is seven that is we will recommend the seven songs based on with the chosen so the, the seven recommended songs for check my brain are these are the outputs so these are all the codes which will help you in recommending in various ways that is popularity based filtering and all so keep learning you will get all the you will get all these outputs and all these codes uh, in the uh, in the coming time or you can use this repo and you will get all these uh, python files so keep learning